Oh, I think Dr. Romano's in the library. I was told he was in this room. I hope he's not upset. Oh, hi, Dr. Romano. I was told hi, I could maybe you? find you here. Guess what? One one of your students in the Facebook group, I think his name's Alosi, something like that, he said you need a vacay. I think you need a vacay, too. I never take a vacation. Let's get to work. Okay, Dr. Romano. Now, what I want to do is what I call a roadmap, and all of these reactions are pertinent to the DAT exam, and you should be able to know how to do them all. Here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to take a molecule known as 2-pentanol, and I'm going to do several things with it. I'm going to first oxidize it and get A. I'm going to halogenate it to get B. I'm going to reduce it to get C. And then I'm going to treat it with NaH to get product D. I'm going to go back to A, iodine and base to give E, hydrolysis to give F, and then finish it off with chlorine and catalytic PCL3 in aqueous solution. First thing I do is I oxidize the molecule, and hopefully you can all get 2-pentanoin. So it's oxidized with potassium dichromate. From A to B, whenever you see you're halogenating with acid, go to the more internal carbon and replace an H with a BR. Then, from B to C, all I'm going to do, that's just a simple reduction, now it gets a little hard. From C to D, NaH, what's NaH going to do? It's going to remove off this hydrogen to give an O-. minus, And then you're going to do a backside attack, what's called an intramolecular SN2, kick off the bromine, and give the epoxide. Wow. That, that's, that's a hard one. Attack. That's yeah. hard. Go back to A, iodine and base. What that's going to do is it's... You're treating a methyl ketone with iodine and base, and that's the haliform reaction. So you're going to remove off the methyl and oxidize it. So you knock off the carbon, and it becomes CHI3, which is the yellow iodoform precipitate, and you get the carboxylate ion. And then finally, you would acidify it, and that would give me F, the carboxy acid. And here's the hard one. This last step, if you add chlorine and catalytic PCL3 aqueous, you simply replace the alpha hydrogen on the acid with a chlorine atom. In this case, because I use chlorine. So you're replacing an alpha hydrogen with a halogen, and that is known as the hell volhan zelinsky reaction. So I finished wow. this off doing hell volhan zelinsky I thought you meant we're going to hell with that one. Whoa. Now, what we're going to do... Okay, so once you got these under your belt, let's try one more set. Now... I'm going to go A through F. First step is easy enough. Bromine light replaces the hydrogen with the bromine at the tertiary position. From A to B, you do a Hoffman elimination. In a Hoffman elimination, you remove off the halogen and the easiest accessible hydrogen, and you form the less substituted alkene, and that's B. Then we're going to do an oxidation. That's going to give us, with metachloroperoxybenzoic acid, will give me the epoxide. And then, from C to D, you're treating the epoxide with acid and a nucleophile. That means it's going to add to the most substituted carbon in acid. So the OC2H5 goes on the more substituted carbon, and this gets the OH. You'll look in Destroyer, I do a lot of those type of questions. Going back to B now, you treat B with HBr and peroxide. That simply adds on the bromine in an anti makovnikov fashion. And that puts the bromine on the very end. That is a radical mechanism. And then finally, I'm going to finish it off with an SN2. I'm going to kick out the bromine, put in the fantastic nucleophile of cyanide. Notice for SN2, I like to use a polar aprotic solvent. All right, I hope this gives you a good idea of how we use the reagents and how we go about doing the types of reactions that you show up to see on the dad exam. Okay, thank you, Dr. Romano. Can I go now? Yes, thank God you could leave, and I'd like to get back to studies. Good day to you. Thank you. Good day to you, sir.